Yeah. Um, so you should always have Listerine on hand in case you have what seems to be an unusually intense amount of cockroaches in your living space for no apparent reason. And one of those cockroaches jumps into your mouth while you're trying to drink out of a glass where apparently that cockroach was taking a swim. That just happened. It's kind of gross, but thankfully I'm not somebody who gets scared easily and I studied biology and know that even though cockroaches are disgusting and pretty horrifying to look at, they're not poisonous and they're not gonna kill you if you accidentally ingest one of them. So that's, that's you know, good to know, right? So it's shortly after noon on Friday, August 23rd. Just made a video about how this is such a gorgeous morning that people who do know how to be happy um, will use it as fuel for their day and to boost their good mood. And people who don't know how to be happy uh, will continue to be miserable, psychotic, mentally unstable, and harmful to others because they're just not capable of being happy, right? It's, you know, unfortunate. There's two kinds of people in this world, those who know how to be happy and those who don't. I seem to be surrounded by a lot of those who don't, unfortunately. And I seem to be uh, put here for some strange reason. I mean, I'm the one who decided to live here. But I seem to be put here to show that you can be content, or maybe not content, but at least sanguine under any kind of conditions, if that is who and what you are, and that is what you know how to do, and that's how you function. Um, I've lived in this unit for what is now 13 years, since July of 2011, and we are now in August of 2024, so you do the math. When I moved in, I moved in with all these boxes right here. This is the same set of boxes I had 13 years ago because these are things that are valuable and I will not get rid of. These are things like yearbooks and childhood photos and important documents and papers from my PhD program and schoolwork from junior high and uh, you know uniforms from cheerleading and stuff like that. So this same set of boxes has been here for 13 years. I lived in this unit for 10 years before I ever saw a single mouse or a single bug. I was actually worried that there might be some kind of radioactivity going on in this building because I never even saw a spider up until 2020 or so. And that's when mice suddenly started coming in here. And they were coming in here from the bathroom of Unit 78. I keep saying all of the pests, all of the insects, all of the smoke fumes, foul stinking water, all come from the bathroom 78. That's strange, right? I mean, it's a vacant, permanently empty, unrented bathroom, according to the Greenville Group, that is attached to a living space that they choose not to rent out for some strange reason. And then all kinds of craziness comes from the area behind this wall, including a psychopath, a sex offender, a cyber criminal, an obsessive stalker who apparently is a career uh, harasser named Jasmine Irizarry, constantly accessing the vacant premises of the bathroom of 78 located behind this wall. The only time I ever saw any mice in this unit, they were right here in this corner and behind the, the refrigerator, as I keep saying, they were coming in and out of this unit from the area behind this refrigerator, which shares a wall with the bathroom of 78. Bathroom of 78 has a shower stall right here, but the shower stall does not ex extend into the corner. There's some kind of like a little cabinet thing in this corner. Then there's another cabinet thing in this corner. Irizarry was the official resident of Unit 78 between 2013 and 2022. And according to Mr. Alyssa, of her handler and sponsor at the Greenville Group, because he himself is the one who informed me that he's been using her services. And when she is done here, as he put it, he will have her properly taken care of. That's when I told him that she doesn't belong in this building, that she's a mentally disturbed homicidal psychopath who is a danger to other people and doesn't belong in a multi-unit commercial residential building. And what he said was, well, when she's done with her work here, I will properly take care of her. I'll have her properly taken care of. So he knows she's a psycho and he's harnessing her psychotic need to harass and stalk other people for his own nefarious purposes. That's his own admission, right? So all of the cockroaches in this unit so far have been around the sink. It's weird because, again, I lived in this unit for 10 years. I had even more boxes when I moved in, got rid of a bunch of them, and the cockroaches show up 10 years later. Again, cockroaches do not show up anywhere unless the landlord or resident does not engage in effective pest control. I am not the landlord in this unit, and there's people living directly on the other side of these walls 
evidently. And they also could be bringing in cockroaches and bugs that then immediately can go into my unit, right? There's no space between the units in this building. It's one tiny little drywall that separates you from whatever your neighbor is doing, which is unfortunate. Um, and just now I was trying to drink my morning beverage out of this glass, left the glass on the counter, put it on the table over there where I'm moving stuff away from the wall to prepare for the pest control inspection. And when I went to take a sip of that beverage, just a few minutes later, a cockroach jumped out of it and into my mouth. I spit it out, but listen to this. One of the tentacles got stuck in my teeth and I had to literally fish out the tentacle with my fingers from my teeth. That's how um, close that, that cockroach was to my teeth. It, it's gross, but it's not, it's not mortal, right? Cockroaches are dirty, filthy, ugly bugs, but they're not poisonous, although they do carry a lot of disease. And there's so many of them in this area right here that you have to wonder what's going on. I don't store food anywhere in this unit. There's no food. There's absolutely no food. That's a bunch of cloths, okay? What I have in here are dishes, Tupperware containers, dishes. No food. This is empty. So I just use that to store like random pouches of salt and stuff like that. These are my vitamin bottles. Nothing that cockroaches could possibly be attracted to in here. So, but they're always right here. And then these are not food. These are my uh, blender, chopper, kitchen utensils, spatula, etc. They're all clean. And there's somebody constantly in the bathroom with 78 smacking the wall behind the sink, causing the water to become oily, thick, greasy, slimy when I try to use it, or then it stinks like feet or like fish, or then it develops a very gritty, tacky, gluey feel. Um, that's Irizari, the psycho scum, ass wipe career thug, doing her thing for the Greenville group, evidently, according to what Mr. Alyssa of her handler has admitted. Uh, when she's done here, as he put it, I will have her properly taken care of because he knows she's a criminally insane nut job piece of filth that should not be around other people and certainly should not be left unsupervised to sit in a bathroom behind uh, somebody's kitchen sink where she then claims to be able to uh, contaminate the water and to do all kinds of other things because as she put it, she's a structural engineer who gets paid to solve problems. So thankfully I had a um, bottle of Listerine on hand and rinsed out my mouth and I'm still recovering from the shock of having a cockroach in my mouth with its tentacles stuck in my teeth. That is how pervasive this cockroach infestation is that I leave a glass of a morning beverage on the counter for a few minutes. And when I pick it up, there's a cockroach literally taking a swim in it. And then it jumps into my mouth when I try to drink it. At least I didn't swallow the cockroach because then I would be just like gagging all over the place right now. But I studied biology. Um, major in biological sciences and pre-med. So very few things freak me out. And because I was a gymnast for many years as well, and a dancer, a ballerina, for equally the number of years that I studied gymnastics, I was also studying ballet. Ballet is an extremely disciplined, rigorous, um, challenging physical pursuit, as is gymnastics. And I have complete mastery over my uh, anxieties and fears and reactions. So my reaction was to simply spit out what I had in my mouth, literally rinse out my mouth, rinse out the glass, and then go find some Listerine. Um, but what I'm saying here is that this intense and sudden massive infestation of cockroaches is not natural. I studied biology. I know how pests uh, reproduce. You do not go from zero to like a thousand in just a few weeks, not even with cockroaches, not even with mice. Reproduction for any species takes a little bit of time. So when you have these sudden waves and onslaughts of massive amounts of pests in an area where there's no food, I mean, there's nothing here that could possibly be attracting them. And no, it's not the boxes because I've lived here for 10 years before any pest ever showed up. It's not the boxes. I've had the same boxes in here for 10 years and never even saw a spider. What it is, is a lack of effective pest control by a management company that has been criminally charged with negligence by the city of Boston over and over and over for code violations in this unit alone. I don't even know what, what's going on in other people's 
living spaces in this building. But in this unit alone, the Greenville Group has been charged multiple times over the last three and four years for criminal negligence, for failing to make repairs, for failing to address rodent infestations, for failing to do anything according to the code of uh, habitability, the warranty of habitability, and housing code and health code laws. Yeah. What I need to do right now, and because my thinking is always goal-oriented, I need to make sure that the pest control inspection that showed up on the wrong day this week, they were supposed to come on Monday, they showed up on Wednesday, is actually going to take place next week because we definitely need this place to be sprayed down ASAP. So it's important to note that since yesterday when I reported that the water was really oily, tacky, sorry, oily and thick and slimy, it is no longer oily, thick and slimy, but now it's tacky and gritty and really sticky. So again, Irizarry, who claims to be a structural engineer who gets paid to solve problems, and I suspect she also has some kind of expertise in chemistry uh, or propagation of intense amounts of smoke and fumes and then contaminants into the water. She seems to know yeah, how to contaminate water. Now it's really gritty, tacky. So I keep having to run it because I don't know what kind of glue or tacky substance is being leached into that water. You can never use it. It is never okay to use. So no, now it's no longer oily, thick, slimy, and greasy. It has become tacky, gritty, and gluey, almost as if it's being curdled. Um, and because she keeps using an, a, a directed energy device on me when I stand at that sink or when I try to use a toilet in my bathroom, she's maybe using a directed energy device to curdle the water to that tap. It's no longer water. It is something with different molecular uh, properties in water, right? When you boil something or you cook it, you change the molecular structure of that substance. Duh. Okay. Time to call the Greenville group about the pest control because when you swallow, when you almost swallow a cockroach, I didn't swallow it, I almost did, then you got a problem. One, for maintenance, press two. If you're interested in selling a property, press three. For the office directory, press four or press zero for the front desk. Oh. So let's see, are they actually going to answer their phone or is it going to go to voicemail again, as it always does? <clears throat> Yeah, they don't answer their phones. Do they even have anybody working here? Like, seriously. Hi there. Um, it's 1230 p.m. on Friday, August 23rd, 2024. I'm calling regarding the rescheduled pest control um, visit that you guys are required to uh, have happen in my unit um, as soon as possible because the inspectional services department issued a code violation citation to the Greenville group for a cockroach infestation in this unit back on July 12th of 2024. Um, the pest control had to be rescheduled from Monday morning because while I was spending a lot of time preparing to pull everything away from the walls in preparation for that pest control inspection on Monday morning of this past week, your psycho scum rejected uh, violent, mentally disturbed tenants in 76, directly blown in 78 next door in the vacant premises of the bathroom of 78 were engaging in some very disruptive, aggressive, harmful behavior towards me throughout the evening and night when I was trying to prepare for the pest control inspection on Monday morning, and that inspection had to be rescheduled. The inspector then showed up on Wednesday morning when I did not have any uh, scheduled inspection going on, and I asked them to come back next Tuesday. So please confirm this so that I know to expect the pest control um, team in my unit on Tuesday morning. That would be August 27th. Um, this is important. Again, I almost just swallowed a cockroach that was literally swimming around in my morning beverage. And I only put that beverage down for a few minutes on my kitchen counter. And when I came back, I didn't realize there was a cockroach in it. And literally that cockroach jumped into my mouth while I was trying to drink my morning beverage. Thankfully, I studied biology in college, and I'm not concerned too much about cockroaches. They might be gross, but they're not poisonous. However, this is a serious health and safety issue. And again, I'm trying to confirm that there is a pest control visit coming up on August 27th in my unit. Please get back to me. This is a legally mandated pest control visit, and you guys are not answering your phones. Thank you very much. You just have to wonder, you know, how hard is it to answer the phones at 12.30 p.m. on a weekday? My God. 
So back to this anomalous situation of excessive amounts of cockroaches suddenly all over the place, right around that area right there where there's a psychopath named Jasmine Arizari constantly making her presence known physically against that wall by smacking it when I try to wash my hands. Usually after using the bathroom, she has this psychotic need to harass people based on what they do in the bathroom. Um, she was smacking and banging things against the shower stall of my shower when I was trying to shower in that shower stall uh, a few days ago. I, I, she's always constantly making banging noises and doxing her physical presence in what is apparently the permanently vacant premises of her former bathroom where she lived for 10 years, but now apparently lives somewhere else in this building for some strange reason. And for some equally strange reason, Greenville is keeping that bathroom vacant and empty for uh, reasons that are completely counterintuitive to uh, business logic and common sense. Um, so again, all the bugs, mice, and cockroaches I've ever seen in this unit have come right around from that wall right there. Irizarry claiming to be a structural engineer who gets paid to solve problems could very logically be propagating uh, insects and cockroaches into this unit because there's no food in here. And again, my sister and my dad have basements that are twice the size of this unit with twice as much stuff as I have in here. And they do not have cockroaches or mice or anything else because their buildings have effective pest control and this one doesn't. And that's what allows the proliferation of large amounts of pests and mice and whatever else, especially if you have a career psychopath who is evidently possibly propagating these insects into your living space just for the purposes of harassment and disruption. That would not surprise me. I mean, isn't that what a career uh, harasser does? They do everything they possibly can to harass whoever they're being paid to harass, right? And because I've been informed by multiple individuals that Jasmine Irizarry is a sponsored harasser and, quote, activist, well, then why wouldn't all these cockroaches be somehow an artificially um, generated situation, right? I lived in this unit for 10 years before I ever saw a single bug. 10 years. And I had way more stuff a few years ago than I do now. So it's not related to the amount of stuff that you have unless you're, you know, storing large amounts of uh, sugar and salt and flour and uh, snacks in your place. But I don't have snacks anywhere. The only food I have in this unit is in that fridge. And I usually tape it up so that the food in there doesn't get contaminated. But the psychopath who's been picking the lock to my unit and letting herself in here and contaminating and vandalizing my food and personal care items for 10 years now. So once I started taping up my fridge, then the food stopped getting contaminated. So you do the math on that one, folks. Everything that happens in here is due to Irizarry and her nefarious activities and the fact that she is being sponsored by Oleg Lisev of the Greenville Group, as he admitted, as he said, when she's done here, I will make sure she's properly taken care of because he knows she's a total psycho who should not be around other people.